Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I've got four rosé wines in front of me, uh, all from the Torres stable. One of them's not labelled Torres, but it's from a winery that uh, uh, that the company owns. And um, I've got a Chilean in one, one in there and three Spaniards. And I've got them organised in alcohol order. So uh, we're finishing on the uh, beefiest one, which is the Chilean one, which weighs in at 13.5%. Per, per uh, but we're starting on one that weighs in at... Um, 0.5%. I couldn't remember whether it was 1 or 1.5 or 0.5. This is um, Torres Natureo de Alcoholized Wine 2016 um, Syrah Cabernet. Uh, now I've had, uh, I can't, I think I've tried the rose before. I've certainly tried the, um, the, there's a red, there's a muscat. The muscat's probably my, uh, been my favourite of the ones I've tried so far. So let's see what this one's like. And it's a decent enough drink, but it's the, it has the problem I uh, I find with uh, a lot of uh, low alcohol wines. I was in Germany last week and trying uh, a wine from uh, the Leitz estate uh, called uh, Einzfei. They do want to call Einzfei Dry, but they also do this low alcohol one called Einzfei Zero. And uh, I was thinking, yeah, it's decent enough. It'd be really nice with a sl- with a sort of splash of vodka or gin in there. Um, the, it, without the alcohol, you get these flavours and you get this, um, yeah, the, the impression of fruit. There's this little bit of uh, sweet strawberry, but it's almost so, as if someone's taken its uh, its heart out, and uh, it's still just about surviving without it. It's a, it's okay. I certainly uh, wouldn't be uh, uh, upset drinking that on uh, if if I was on on uh, designated driver duty, but it's all right. No idea why I spat that out. Actually, probably is because. Uh, It'll have some um, acidity and sugar in there. It's not too much sugar. It's, it's, it's got this quite nice dry finish. Anyway, next one. Uh, this is the one that's not labelled Torres. Uh, Jean Leon, um, 3055 Rosé, 2016, uh, from Penedès. Uh, 3055 is um, Jean Leon. It was his taxi number. In, in, uh, what's it say on the back? Uh, taken from Jean Leon's New York taxi licence. Uh, revealing to us the man behind the legend, etc., etc. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. So this one weighs in at um, 12%, so uh, uh, oh, the lowest of the regular alcoholic rosés. Gentle, light, a little bit of um, more spicy notes alongside the red berry, a little bit of blood orange. It smells okay. One of those slightly dangerous wines. You, don't, you, think, you taste it first of all and you think, not much wine there. And it grows in the mouth, so there is this. In, it's, it's it's one of those that's got uh, as, that's as much about texture as flavour. So it's got those little bit of red berry, that little bit of uh, uh, light citrus. Uh, but what you, you you feel you, you your mouth feels like it's a it's had something in there that's uh, higher than twelve percent alcohol. It's it's, it's 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 a wine that's got quite a bit of um, presence. Not massively complex, but um, dangerously gluggable. Yeah, quite like that. Next one, um, a old fave, Vigna Sol. Um, don't know how long they've been doing the rosé, but um, anyway, this is the, the Vigna Sol 2016. I think this one weighs in at 13% alcohol, so let's give it a whirl. Well, I don't know if you can see the difference in colour, probably against that background. Deeper in colour, and uh, when I smell it, it smells like it's going to have a deeper, richer, rounder berry flavour. Yeah, definitely red wine rosé. It's got that... Uh, strawberry juice character, um, less of the citrus flavours. Maybe there's a slightly sweeter finish, and I don't know whether it's, there's actually a bit of sugar in there or whether it's just this fruit ripeness. Um, there are some occasions when I prefer that. That's almost like winter rosé, and the uh, uh, Jean Leon is more uh, more summer rosé. This is the 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 Vignesol has got quite a bit of um, cojones to it. Let's try the last wine, which is uh, from. Uh, uh, the uh, Chilean outpost, so it's uh, Santa Dina Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon Rosé 2016. Um, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if it had been, sorry, 2015. I wouldn't have been surprised if it had been the, uh, the 2016 vintage. Um, so, uh, oh, well, it's, it's got on the back from the, the label from the people who sent it. 2015 stroke 2016. I've got the older vintage. And this is going a little bit more medicinal, uh, sweeter, juicier, riper again than the um, uh, than, than the two Spanish ones. And uh, I th- I notice that little bit of age there. It feels like it's it's a wine that uh, has lost its youthful freshness and is now starting to go not not exactly tired, but um, certainly you'd be wanting to drink it pr- pretty soon from the smell at least. 
yeah, tasty enough, but um, I, I roll on the 2016. And that has just that feel of that uh, claggy, rather heavy strawberry strawberry juice. So getting into the tin strawberry juice character. Um, so um, of the, I mean, I, I, the Natura is okay. That one's okay. These two in the middle, uh, I like them, and I like the difference between them. Uh, so um, stuff, spot for choice for which of those two to drink tonight. Maybe I'll have a little glass of each. See you soon.